Well, welcome to Good Morning Central Oregon. We have Cassie Regenball here. She's the Executive Director of Council on Aging of Central Oregon. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Well, I'm good. Thanks so much for being here. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. March is a pretty exciting month for Council on Aging. Why is it such an important month? Well, in uh, March of 1972, nutrition programming was added in to the Older Americans Act, um, which is the federal legislation that helps support organizations like mine and why we, we exist. Um, and then it's also March for Meals. So that's a national campaign to bring awareness about the Meals on Wheels program and the, all the great work that is done. Um, it serves about 2.8 million older adults across the nation in a year for the Meals on Wheels program. So wow. it's very exciting to recognize all of that hard work. Which is wild because March is on Friday. So <laughs> <laughs> it's a good time you came in to remind us all about what Meals on Wheels actually does. So it really does make a difference for a lot of people. What, what exactly is it? So Meals on Wheels is a program that is available for older adults who identify as either homebound or at a nutritional risk. So maybe somebody might not be able to stand long enough to cook a nutritious meal. Uh, we partner with Redmond, Madras, and Prineville Senior Centers and um, to deliver that program. And then we also serve it directly ourselves in Lapine, Bend, and Sisters. We serve about 450 to 500 people at any given time. And uh, last fiscal year, we actually served about 115,000 meals across the Tri-County area. Wow, that's amazing. It is. So then, okay, now with Meals on Wheels, I'm reading here that it's federally funded. Mm -hmm. So the big question is, is why do people need to support this program? Well, unfortunately, the federal funding does not cover the cost of the entire program. So organizations like mine need to find additional funding, either through grants or private donations. And that would also be true for our senior center partners as well. The federal funding has also not kept up with inflation, as we sure. know, or the growing population of older adults. I just heard that, I believe by 2047 in Central Oregon, the older adult population will grow by 54%. Whoa. So there's going to be a big need, and unfortunately the funding the way it is now is, is not enough. Okay, so. then, then another question too is, you know, you've given some really important big numbers, but what exactly does hunger look like here in Central Oregon? Well, I feel like hunger is hidden, and I think COVID helped indicate that that where our request for food supports grew astronomically. And so I think that um, unfortunately we know that our partner, our neighbors and our loved ones are living, you know, food insecure. I believe it's about 13 to 15 percent in Central Oregon, which is a lot of people yeah, if you think yeah. about that. Okay. So it's yep, beneficial now, to have a program like ours. How can people help? How can people get involved with Meals on Wheels or maybe even just with Council on Aging? Well, I would definitely say if folks are interested, um, go to savelunch.org and urge Congress to increase the funding for the Older Americans Act. Um, of course, we are always looking for volunteers, so that's always a way to get involved, um, specifically in Lapine and Prineville. Okay. Um, and then also just directly supporting your local senior center or the Council on Aging, that's always welcome too. So oh, wonderful. We have lots of opportunities. Now, is there a website folks can reach out to you to get a hold of you and become that volunteer? Absolutely. Uh, Councilonaging.org. That makes easy, that easy. easy. Yeah. <laughs> Councilonaging.org. Thank you so much, Cassie, for being here. It is the hashtag March for Meals yes. as we're approaching this next month very quickly. Mm -hmm. And thanks so much for being here and sharing this with us. It's very important, obviously. Yes, it is. It's great work. I'm okay. glad to be part of this organization. Okay, folks. We'll be right back.